Hello there everyone, it's me again, once in Uherski Rock Upload, the Mountain General, who finally took enough normal pills to upload some Hearts of Iron 4 video. To be honest, it's kind of a struggle for me to work on videos, but it's the only thing that makes me happy in life, so yeah. If you are still here and watching, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed today's video, and subscribe if you are new around here, and don't forget to leave any comments. I assume most of you read title of the video so firstly we have to start as Italy today and I also assume that most of you know that we are at war with Ethiopia but fear not because we have tanks planes chemical weapons against Ethiopians that barely have enough sticks and stones for their divisions so I just want to ship your whole army to the north and bomb the ever-living shit out of them and after you have aghast enough Ethiopians it's time to just annex their whole country now before we can form our glorious East African colony, we have to first complete few focuses. First important one is the Ministry of Italian Africa. It will unlock important decision. And from that focus I will just create the colonial police as a occupation law. And now lastly we need the new emperor of Ethiopia that will just crown Victor Emmanuel as an emperor of newly conquered territories. And after we have done this little focus here we can create Africa Orientale Italiana but if you are going to try this as I don't forget to also upgrade your division templates because you will inherit them so we will just use our XP like this and then boom we have our Italian East Africa and now we have to just tax switch to them and boom welcome everyone to our new homeland led by Prince Amedeo yeah he just now has to explain to all the Ethiopians that we're just bomb and gas by the Italians that they will now serve in our army and pretty much we have pretty nice bonuses from our leader and also our national spirit is pretty good all around for our colony here we also don't have any core states so yeah at first the rebellions will be pain in our asses and also one thing I'm a little bit disappointed in is that we have a generic focus tree it's a little bit of shame that Africa Oriental Italia didn't receive any minor content at least at first this will be a little struggle also good thing is that we automatically start with spy agency so we can just suppress all the rebellions here also pretty bad thing is that we have a very limited time to prepare ourselves for the second world war only like two years and that's about it let us pray for our East Italians and we have to play very smart we have to use every bonus imaginable for our defense ah yes finally our new recruits and thing that i really like is that we have unique generals here and even our prince is a field marshal so yeah things are slowly heating up and i was able to build a pretty nice army that will quickly overrun somalia here and then it will be a struggle against the british also a very good thing is that we won't be fighting alone germans and italians will save my ass here so yeah here we go this is not a drill Italian East Africa is ready for war we just have to wait for the Italians to eventually enter but the glory is awaiting us so yeah now it's World War II time and this is not looking pretty good main point for us is to take Djibouti from France so it doesn't go to Petén no this is not looking good but nobody is pushing us here maybe we can even push this will be one good african campaign yeah i was even able to build small fortifications so they will kill a lot of people trying to push here british at the horn of africa successfully encircled here oh look even rommel and his africa corp is here this will be won in no time we are even pushing here in the south soon we will reach another port it all around looks like a pretty good vacation also bye bye every allied force here you won't be missed oh yeah i feel like i have to guard my coasts better oh just look at me situation here is nicely stabilized and i'm just destabilizing the allied supply lines in africa 
And finally me and Italy have a little collection here. So that means that I can ask everyone for a little help with my military situation. So I am pretty proud of our progress here. And even Italians are taking a little Scottish island here. I don't know how long it will last for them. But yeah, all around, this is a pretty good invasion. And hopefully we will be able to close an encirclement. And there we go, free dead British people. And another pocket here. So yeah, a major amount of British soldiers were encircled in South Sudan. This is just, this is only good news for me. And now look at my greatest big brain move. We will just paradrop into England and hope that nobody is there. We have to get our army there and hopefully we can capitulate the United Kingdom. So yeah, this is how we do it, baby. African colony capitulating a major nation. And we will give it to the Germans and hope that they will come to our aid. We just have to push, push and push. This is just micromanagement the nightmare. Be me, Mussolini's strongest African soldier. Yeah, this is pretty easy, just... We need to take that fucking London, that's all. But finally the Germans are turning up. And with that little German help at the end, we are done. Also, I really love the fact that I can take shit in the peace deal. I am very happy with my gains here. I was able to create one super Italian East Africa, but other borders look like shit. And well, look at who stole a chunk of British Navy. We will build African high seas fleet. And you say this is how you are a good puppet. You will help your overlords overtake territories in far lands that doesn't really matter. And for some reason, they let the allies still be here on the map. One second I will fix all of this fucking bullshit. And now that my mind is at peace, let's try to be a finally a useful ally. And we will start exporting things to our Italian overlords. Well, we have been useful to Italians as puppets, but we will be better when we are free very soon. We have got so many new factories, oh my. And yes, the black Italians win again taking Moscow for German allies of course and this is worthy of a military merit cross why not and we in fact are pushing into Soviet Union not retreating how the arrow lets you to believe this is just black Italians striking back at Soviets no step back comrade in this big encirclement and we will probably capture a Soviet capital city for the second time and yes indeed Black Italians win again. This invasion just keeps on giving and even Iran joins so we will be able to get some oil from them. I'll be pimping all the fuel all day long. And here we go, we got 50% of Soviet Union stockpile, that's 66 guns and 2 trains, that's very good. You know it would be all fine and dandy if it wasn't for the Japanese attacking German Indonesia. And I'm finally gonna put my navy into a good use. We'll just destroy all the Japanese. I don't know why but Turkey decided to commit suicide by attacking us. It's not really looking good for Japan. Never fear, Afro-Italians are here. And now after a lot of time serving our Italian overlords as a good puppet, it's time to become friends. We are now the Italian state of East Africa and also our flag changed and that's about it. We are still fighting for new colonies and territories to acquire. Now against the Japanese. And another big W at the sea and soon they will be also finished on land. But we still have to capitulate their puppet here. Just fucking kill me. It's time for Nanking round 2 in that city. If you know what I mean. Oh, I do be sure loving me some warfare in China. When China literally has no divisions and it's just crazy fanatic Japanese defending this country for uh, nothing I guess. Because they already capitulated. Now you might have a question, why am I still going? And well that's very simple because I want to produce a fuck ton of oil and my inner George W. Bush is telling me to attack Iraq. I miss killing Iraqi 
Iraqis. Same to be honest. I am sorry Iraqis, but your oil will belong to the best Italian colony. And yes, I'm basically using every force I have for this smooth invasion. Even though it's late game, I have a lot of fun. Don't mind me, I'm just invading people for every drop of the oil. Yes, it is that easy. Literally no one got hurt. So yeah, first time in my life I see this event, very interesting indeed, and I'm slowly finishing up my great resource works. I have killed so many people for this oil and rubber. I have closed down the economy so you can see the full scale of my economic power. So yeah, I got to say that uh, Italian East Africa is a very fucking overpowered colony with so many bonuses with compliance, we can even use 13 million people into our army and here yeah, we are the black italians of africa our only competition is french ni and we were even able to steal so many ships that it's not even funny so if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe tell me in the comments what do you think about my overpowered super african italian colony here and yeah for the future i will try to make more hearts of iron 4 videos of course and yeah thank Thanks for watching and as always big thanks goes to my channel members their names are in the description and on the screen right now thanks a lot everyone